Good afternoon, everybody. I'm back in Isaiah. We are still in chapter 33, um, talking about the Assyrian. It's the fifth woe of the six. Uh, and, and this is where the Assyrian, the spoiler, or the Antichrist, the devil, all lots of names uh, goes down. So I'm going to repeat the last verse from yesterday and just take it from there. Verse 10. Now will I rise, saith the Lord, now will I be exalted, now will I lift up myself. Ye shall conceive chaff, talking about the devil, ye shall bring forth stubble, your breath as fire shall devour you. And the people shall be as the burnings of lime, as thorns cut up shall they be burned in the fire. And these are his people, not, not children of God. Uh, verse 13, and this kind of goes into a different part of the chapter, um, talking about Jehovah and the king in his beauty. So, chapter 33, verse 13. Hear ye that are far off what I have done, and ye that are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with a devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly is who? <laughs> he that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him, and his water shall be sure. Want for nothing. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. And far off here means far, far stretching. <clears throat> Verse 18. Thine height shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the terrors? Thou shalt not see a fierce people, a people of a deeper speech than thou canst perceive, of a stammering tongue that thou canst understand. Look upon Zion, the city of our solemnities. And solemnities is like um, their feastal, feastal days. Thine eyes shall see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, a tabernacle that shall not be taken down. Not one of the stakes thereof shall ever be removed, neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken. But there the glorious Lord will be unto us a place of broad rivers and streams. He will be our water. Wherein shall go no galley with oars, neither shall gallant ships pass thereby. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king, and he will save us. Thy tacklings are loosed, they could not well strengthen their mass, they could not spread the sail. Then is the prey of a great spoil divided, and the lame to take the prey. And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell uh, therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Uh, we can go ahead and start chapter 34. So this um, is the first part talking to the um, Gentile nations. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the word and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all of their host, the heavenly host, shall fall down as the leaf fallen off from the vine and as a falling fig from the, the fig tree. 
and I, I don't know that this is true, but that just reminds me of the, the fallen angels. Um, and there is a great shaking that's, that's going to come. Um, and that could be what's being referenced there, but that's from my, my brain. <laughs> if you've heard that, fine too. Um, that's it for today. So we will pick it back up in chapter 34 tomorrow. Hope you've had a good day. Love and blessings. And we'll talk tomorrow. Bye.